to go missing without a trace. Some might say that that fate is even worse than death, to not know if a loved one is alive or dead, to not ever have that type of closure. Luckily, a great number of people are found and have a logical explanation behind their disappearance. However, there are some people who just simply seem to vanish into thin air. <laughs> Ray Grecar held the position of a district attorney for 20 years until 2005 when he mysteriously vanished. Grecar was a prominent district attorney in Pennsylvania and occasionally liked to step away and take a nice solitary road trip before returning to his everyday life. In April of 2005, not far from returning home from one of these road trips, Grecar called his girlfriend to tell her that he'd be home soon. Twelve hours later, Grecar still wasn't home, and his girlfriend, now worried, reported him missing. Grecar's vehicle was soon found abandoned in an antique shop parking lot. Inside his car, police found only his work cell phone, but his wallet, keys, and laptop were all missing, with no evidence of foul play. Family and authorities suspected the worst due to something that had happened nearly a decade earlier. Grecar's brother Roy's car was found in a location similar to where Ray's car was left. Roy had parked near a bridge over a river and jumped to his death. His body was located a week later. Investigators acknowledged the possibility that Ray might have followed in his brother's footsteps. But after searching the river and its banks, there was no sign of Ray Grecar's body. Authorities requested that the FBI check his credit cards, bank accounts, and his personal cell phone, all to no avail. Over three months after Ray's disappearance, fishermen had managed to pull up not a fish, but Ray's laptop from the bottom of the river. Police inspected the laptop and found that the hard drive had been purposely removed from the computer. Two months later, the hard drive was found on the banks of the river, and not the FBI, the Secret Service, or the firm that had recovered data from the hard drive from the Space Shuttle Columbia disaster could pull any information from it. It was entirely useless. But things get a bit weirder. It was revealed that Ray's home computer, shortly before his disappearance, had search history containing the words how to wreck a hard drive, how to fry a hard drive, and water damage to a notebook computer. Whether Ray made these searches himself or not is unknown, but what is known is that Ray Grecar had been compiling evidence against a certain individual for a number of years. Jerry Sandusky, the assistant football coach at Penn State who was accused of numerous cases of child sexual abuse. He was eventually charged in 2011, but Ray himself never sought charges on Sandusky. In fact, he even planned on retiring in December of 2005, the year he disappeared. Whether the Sandusky scandal had anything to do with Ray's disappearance, no one really knows for sure, and probably never will know. Ray Grecar was declared legally dead in July of 2011. The father of cinematography. Unfortunately, Louis Le Prince is a name that is often overlooked in the history books, due in large part to the fact that he seemed to vanish into thin air. Le Prince was a brilliant inventor and in 1888 shot the first moving pictures on paper film using a single lens camera. It was called the Round Hay Garden Scene and it only lasted a little more than two seconds, but in 1888 it was groundbreaking. And not only that, but it came years before the work of a competing inventor, Thomas Edison. Le Prince was planning a trip to the UK to patent his invention before heading to the United States to promote it. After visiting some friends and family on September 16, 1890, Le Prince boarded a train to Paris. At some point during the trip, he suddenly disappeared. The last time he was seen was when he was boarding the train. No one reported any suspicious behavior on the train. No one reported any signs of a struggle. It had seemed that Le Prince just ceased to exist. Authorities thoroughly checked the train and the entire railway leading from where he visited family to Paris. Nothing was found. Not a body, 
not even his luggage. Not very long after Le Prince's disappearance, Thomas Edison stepped forward and attempted to claim credit for the invention. Le Prince's son was a witness in court against Thomas Edison who claimed to be the inventor of cinematography, and the court ruled in favor of Thomas Edison. Thankfully, the ruling was overturned a year later. Le Prince was declared dead in 1897, but in 2003, a peculiar photograph surfaced. It revealed a man who had drowned and bore a striking resemblance to Louis Le Prince. How he managed to drown on a train ride, or whether or not the picture actually features Le Prince or not, we will never know for sure. Every now and then a person might wonder what it might be like to pack up all your things and leave your entire life behind. For Leah Roberts, this became a reality. Leah experienced something no child ever should have to. Both of her parents died, and Leah, just shy of getting her college degree, dropped out. She began to spend most of her time at a coffee house reading and writing. Leah was a very spiritual person, and she was eager to find out what the world had to offer. Unfortunately, when it comes to what the world has to offer, it's very hit or miss. On March 9th, 2000, Leah took her pet kitten and hopped into her 1993 Jeep Cherokee and left her North Carolina home in the rearview mirror, telling no one where she was going or that she was even leaving at all. She only left behind a letter for her roommate informing her that she was not suicidal. There was no indication as to what her plan was. A free spirit indeed, however, Leah's trip would turn out to be a lot less liberating than she had planned. Nine days after she left home, her vehicle was found, crashed on the side of a logging road in Washington, in an area near the setting of one of her favorite books. Her vehicle was abandoned, but showed signs that it had been lived in and used as shelter against the elements. Numerous personal items were scattered around the area, including a pair of pants that contained $2,500. There was no sign of Leah or her kitten, and no evidence of foul play. Police were able to determine that it was unlikely that anyone was injured in the accident. In fact, evidence showed that it was very unlikely that anyone was even in the vehicle at the time of the crash. Shortly after Leah's vehicle was discovered, a phone call came into police. The man claimed that he saw a girl that fit Leah Roberts' description, and that she appeared disoriented and unaware of her own identity. Before police could get any more information, the caller suddenly terminated the call and hasn't made contact since. There is much speculation in regards to what might have happened to Leah, however, with no new leads, her case remains unsolved. If you have any information regarding the whereabouts of these individuals, please be sure to contact the appropriate law enforcement office right away. Due to the amount of time that has passed since his disappearance, Louis Le Prince has been omitted from this list. Hundreds of people have gone missing just as you were watching this episode. Let's hope you're still around for next week's. That's all for now. Remember, you may not believe it, but anything is possible in a world so seriously strange. I'm Rob Dyke, and I'll hopefully see you next Wednesday. So don't forget to subscribe, because you won't want to miss what's next. Thank you.